Good morning. Welcome back to White Mountain Today here on White Mountain TV 16. It's Sunday, October 2nd, which means it's time for Polygram from Zeb's General Store. Good morning, Paula. How Hi, are Rob. you? Hi, Rob. Thanks for wearing the Zeb's uh, you know, Yellow. We, the, you know, Zeb's Yellow there today. I didn't realize it until I saw you. I went, oh, yeah. Um, but we look good. We look very good. You know, that's... Nice that's fall a, color. That's right. And uh, so speaking of fall and Zeb's General Store, you guys have been busy, I take it? We are busy then one on paper hangers. There you go. And uh, what what do you got? What do you got today? Today? What, what are we talking about today? I brought Freiburg Fear Miserable Weather Comfort Food. Well, hopefully, who knows what, who knows what the weather will be. That's but, true. But uh, we'll, I don't know how to cross my fingers this year. Because, you know, we need the rain. So it's we need the one rain. Of those and, you know, it, it's, it's a, we, if in a perfect world, we have rain every night and happy days and all of that. But right. You know, we need the cold at night for the foliage to turn and, and the hot sun during the day. Right. So it's a juggling act. But, but if I want something something yummy, can I go to Zeb's? Where else could you go? Where else would you go, Rob? To Zeb's, starting with breakfast. We have pancake mix and maple syrup. We have even blueberry syrup if you're going to do blueberry pancakes. Very yummy. Hans, you know, come on in here. We're going to... My, so, Zeb's Old Fashioned Buttermilk and Honey Pancake Mix. That's right. It's nifty. Very, it is nice. Very yummy, that. Yeah, so, we'll... Uh, that good? Yeah, we're seeing that well. Yeah, you can see that there. Yeah. And, so, uh, pancakes honey. and syrup for breakfast. Uh -huh. So, you have the traditional Zeb's General Store. And you have so many, so many different varieties. We'll put them down here. Yeah. So many different, I don't want to say varieties, but sizes and, and bottles and brands. of... Um, Maple of, syrup. Uh, maple syrup. So that's a great thing. And then blueberry maple syrup, because maybe you can't put the blueberries right in your uh, pancakes yourself. If you don't have you can, any, that's you don't have great any, blueberry I mean, syrup. And if this is the low sugar from Baja the Jam. They also make blueberry pancake mix, but I couldn't fit it into the basket. And uh, they have this in, you know, high test, but this is the low sugar. But it's delicious. It's really great on ice cream. Oh, I can imagine. You know. Now, if you're not into the uh, to the pancakes right off the bat, how about donuts? These are really cool. Homemade these made cider donuts, and they were talking about the best cider donuts on uh, WMUR this morning. And I guess they did a poll, and two young two girls, maybe they look to be about in their twenties, took a tour of the state, and they went to the, they did their favorite yeah. cider donuts. The only names I recognize were from the South, so I think they didn't go beyond Concord because, yeah. you know, people think there are no voters above Con Concord. They think there's nothing but skiing above Concord. But we have, above Concord, the White Mountain Cider Company, which is just a delish place. Right, and they, eat, they make, uh, you know, fabulous cider donuts. I right. remember when I first moved up here, and uh, right near where I worked, the McSherry's Orchard used to make their cider donuts too, and yeah. I've never had one. Yeah. And once you have a cider donut, it's just it's like you'll never wham. go back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, but you can make your own you with can. this donut pan. I, you know, I saw and I tried some donuts made in one of these pans last year, and I was really impressed yeah. with how yummy they were. Right. And they're not fried, of course, so that gives you a right. little bit uh, a little bit healthier. Right. And we have them in the mini donut size also. The pans. Yes. Many donuts. Very cool. So we have so. that, and then of course we, I, you can buy your your own donut mix there. So right. Now we got to move on to dinner. Okay. Well, or lunch could be lunch or dinner. You know. Quick and easy standby, especially with the children after they're hungry. You know, you really probably sugared them up a lot at the fair. But after they're hungry, what's easier? Because mom's pooped. Is pasta, and what better pasta sauce is there in the valley than Vito Marcello's? Oh, well, we're looking at the pasta. Yeah, we're looking well, at the. Well, uh, that's moose and bear pasta. And it's just moose and bears, and the kids like that. We also have dogs, cats, dollar bills, you know, dollar signs and all of that. But Vito's pasta sauce from Vito Marcello's Italian Bistro. You can put it on your moose and bears and dollar bills you very can, easily. And so. they're ha they'd be happy with it in the woods. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's a, that's a neat yeah, way to, right. to do that, kind of fun things here. It's now, uh, you also brought uh, chili. some chili. You can do the chili in a cooker, as you know, a slow cooker while you're at the fair. And then, of course, then uh, make, your, the make your cornbread that goes with chili so well, exactly. obviously. So, uh, and these are, these are great because it's the whole, the whole kit and caboodle Everything's right in, in this it. whole bag. Yep. And so you don't have to go, oh, I don't have the spices. I don't have the... You got it all right here. You got it all right there. All right there. So Absolutely. That works. And also, slow cooker. If you're at the fair, beans, baked beans, make your own baked beans. And that's just the right amount of maple syrup for that recipe. So that's very cool. Again, that's making cool. it very easy. Yeah. 
Uh, to be able to do that, we'll spin that around because it's kind of stylish. Right, there. And you could do that any Saturday for Saturday night supper. Beans and hot dogs and brown bread. Absolutely. It's a Absolutely. New England so, thing. Very cool. What else did you bring for us? I did some to soups. Yesterday today. I made this Tuscan minestrone soup to sample. And boy, it went flying out of there. I mean, the three baskets of soup mix. Yeah. People took it out. And it's just great. You just add the soup mix to some boiling broth, you know, and then let it sit for 15 minutes. Add the corn pasta, which makes the Tuscan minestrone. Um, Gluten free because it's corn pasta. Oh, okay. Not made yeah. with wheat. And it's a real, you know, really good thing. You could add small meatballs if you like or chicken, pork. And so this is just a, a, a sampling of, of some soups. of the uh, of the soups yeah. that you have there. This is butternut access. squash and apple is really nice uh, for the, the fall. So some people buy it and they serve it chilled for Thanksgiving yep. as a first course. Very cool. So what are the hours now that it's fall there at, uh, at Zeb's General Store? Oh, on the weekends, um, t t 9 in the morning till 9 at night, except next weekend, the holiday, we'll be open until 10 o'clock every night. Awesome. And, and then we've been going um, noon to 8 during the week. I don't know. If, yeah, I think that goes right till the beginning of November. Okay. But if not, it'll be in the paper and on the website if we're starting to close at 6. But mostly the t with the tourists in town still till the end of October. Absolutely. We'll be open till 8 o'clock and you know, with all our things. And I don't know why I wasn't thinking of dessert. I was too busy making your breakfast basket to bring on. Well, of course, uh, you know, dessert, you got, uh, you got all the candy there, too. All so the if, uh, candy. If nothing else, you can uh, definitely do that. And, uh, you know, as you look at the pictures there, you can see what yeah. a great place. If you haven't been to Zeb's, right. you're definitely missing out. So you want to yeah. check it out. And uh, most people talk about when they go to North Conway, they definitely stop by and, and see right. Zebs and, yep. and uh, see all the great things. Say hi to Paula. Plus, and there's two floors. A lot of people forget there's an yep. upper floor. Yep, it, it's just it goes on and on. We keep saying we need more more basement space, and we need maybe a third floor, but we can't. It's a historical building. That's true. Yeah, so but it'd be hard to during Freiburg Fair Week and Columbus Day weekend was sort of a hysterical building, yeah. <laughs> you know. But we have a lot of dry mix for desserts, To um, You know, the cornbread people I had here, they make a lot of nice chocolate raspberry brownies. The Hungry Yankee Moose makes, um, what is it, their brownies are um, blonde brownies or double chocolate brownies. Great. We have, they run the gamut. Scones, um, no big cheesecakes that you do cream, cream cheese and Cool Whip, yep. a whipped cream. And that's, those are really easy to do. You can do the night before and have them when you come home from the fair. Um, or you can see, like, in the candy counter, the cashews and all that, that you saw those cashew turtles and the yeah. pecan turtle. We're keeping track. We track all of that. And I think this year we've already oversold what we did last year, and it's only October. Well, that's great. And we've sold more fudge this year than last year. And the, the dummy on the table there always <laughs> says that we sell 6,000 pounds a year. It's more than that. I mean, that's three tons of fudge. That's a but lot of we, fudge. It, but we sell a lot of fudge. You can't imagine the amount of fudge we sell. And there are people that can buy, come in and buy three or four pounds as gifts. And they say, well, not going for, there for a couple of weeks. So we wrap it in saran wrap and put it in the gift box for them and tell them keep it in a cool place. And it, it just works. The people buy those big turtles. Yeah. $60 worth of turtles, the big one. Is, it's not unheard of. It happens at least three or four times a day on the weekends. People love them. They're yummy. Yummy turtles. They are. They are. Oh, awesome. So well, Paula, thanks so much for coming by, as always, and bringing uh, your variety yep. of stuff. So I uh, can't miss Zebs, of course, located right in the heart of North Conway Village, across from the train station. Bright yeah. yellow building. Bright people in bright yellow aprons uh, will help you out there at Zebs. Yes, and we have, um, we're have we having soup today. I'm not sure what kind of making today. Uh, we also have hot mild cider going along with two flavored coffees that are complimentary as they come in. So just stop by and see that stop and then see all the great by. things at, at Zeb's. Yeah. Terrific. Paula, thanks again. And we'll Thank be back here in a minute bless. on White Mountains Today. A look at businesses in the Mount Washington Valley who support the environment.